Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Jason. This is Old Car Auto Guide. Do you know what time it is? No, it's not tool time. It's time to get the new exhaust on Project Dale. So stay tuned. So one of the first things that we've got to do is get the old girl started. Remember, there's no gas tank on this thing, so we're relying on the fuel that might be left in the lines. Hopefully, it'll run long enough for us to get it started so we can hear it. So, let's try it. Now that we got the garage fumigated, uh, I'm happy that it started. I'm happy that we got that clip. So now we can tear into this thing, take it apart, get the new exhaust installed, and then we'll do the same thing over again. Hopefully by then there's still enough fuel left in the lines that we can start it one more time. If not, we may have to get the fuel tank hooked back up because it's pretty well time for that anyway. And, uh, and then we'll be able to do that start uh, for the second time and check out the sound of the new exhaust. So without further ado, Let's tear in to that old exhaust and get it down out of the way. Before we do that, we're gonna show you exactly what we've got for an exhaust. You've probably seen it in other videos, but we've got one turbo muffler here that does have a hole here. And uh, on the underside, it's got holes as well and no tailpipes. It just came out the end here and that was it. Up underneath, there are a couple of holes in the Y pipe. Well, we're gonna be taking that Y pipe down out of there and just replacing it with straight pipes the whole way back. So let's take a look at what we've got that's new for the exhaust. So this is the new kit that came uh, from LMC Truck. And the reason why I went this, besides going with a custom exhaust, was the price. All of this was $209 uh, American and it gives me the tailpipes, the intermediate pipes, and from the manifolds back. I chose to go with the, I chose to go with this style muffler. Uh, it was a little bit cheaper. It was $20 more to go with something like that, but I didn't know the name brand. I wasn't willing to take a chance. We'll go with these. If it's too loud, we can always replace them. Now this kit also came with all the hardware and brackets, clamps, everything I'm gonna need to install it. So with any luck, we should be able to get this buttoned up tonight. So I'm gonna get things ready to get the old exhaust, which means we've gotta get Dale jacked up in the air so I can crawl under it, and we'll start taking things apart. Okay. Rather than deal with rusty bolts, we're gonna uh, use the old Sawzall. Cut this exhaust off. So we got three nine sixteenths. It looks like up there on this manifold. Probably the same thing on the other side. Let's get those out. All right. So we've got the exhaust down off this side we'll go over to the passenger side do the same thing and the kit that we bought comes with the gasket and a flange to go right up in there so we'll get those done up be right back 
Okay, so we've got the two pieces that I've cut off of the manifold and the new pieces installed. Let's take a look. So we've got that pipe secure and it comes all the way back and the first joint is right here. And that pipe kind of goes out this way and then up a little bit and then comes out and connects right here uh, at the muffler. You kind of got to finagle these parts because some of them are zigzag and some of them should go up, some should go down, some should kind of go onto the inside. And the instructions are a pretty crude drawing of what it should look like. Now I've got the tailpipe kind of mocked up here with a bungee cord off of what I assume used to be an, a, uh, a tailpipe hanger right there. So it's got to come in up over top of the axle and then straight in and then straight into the muffler with this pipe here. Now this pipe is too long so I guess what I'm gonna have to do is cut it and then slide it in here and I think everything is gonna fit just fine. I know some of you guys were asking about whether or not it was gonna go up over the axle and have room without hitting the box and I think it will because right now it's touching the axle and once we get that hanger on there that'll lift up some and we should have no problems with anything you know rattling around and back here we can play with the geometry of the tailpipe on how far it's going to stick out of the box of course we won't know that until we get the box on it but tonight we'll get her mocked up in place and uh, get everything in we don't have to tighten everything up tonight we can go back once the box is on and kind of nail all that down so there's a quick look at what everything is going to look like. I'm going to go cut that pipe, make it fit. Hopefully, that's the pipe I'm supposed to cut. Because at this point, it's Saturday evening, and there's nothing open until tomorrow. So I might put myself in a position where I've got to call it quits, but I think we're okay. The other side, I broke a stud coming off the manifold. There's three studs coming off and one nut was seized on there. So I don't know how good of a seal I'm going to be able to get tonight. But if we do get this thing together, we're still going to start it up and see what it sounds like. So let's get to cutting that piece of pipe and mock everything back up. And then we can start getting our hangers done on the driver's side. All right, let's go put this together. See how it works. Alright, so we've got that pipe in place. We're going to have to take the tailpipe and still kind of tuck it in a little bit further. But in order to do that, I can't do it in the current configuration. I'm going to have to take it apart from the muffler first and then start putting everything together in succession. But I think we've got it. We'll be able to work with our tailpipe and the hangers once we get that done. But I think that we can say that the driver's side is actually together so we're going to move over to the passenger side and see if we can get that one mocked up as well okay so let me show you the exhaust hangers that came with this kit basically what it does is it's adjustable based on where you mount it on the muffler clamp so once you've got it in place where you want it then it comes with this little rubber or polyurethane isolator that fits up inside the hole and then locks into itself and then you've got a bolt that's going to go down through once you find a hole or make a hole in a cross member or in the frame and hold it into place and once that's in there it's isolated from vibrations so it's not going to rattle and it's mounted securely. I've already got the driver's side tailpipe done. Let me show you how that looks. So as you can see, we've got the isolator here to the bottom of, of an existing hole in the frame, and then we've got the clamp holding the tailpipe in place. Having said all that, once we get the box on, we may have to loosen that to decide whether or not we want the pipe angled or up or down or in or out. We're not going to know that until we get the box back on. So that might be later on next week. 
So what we've got to do now is we've got this back one done. We're going to get one done. We'll get the other one done on the other side. And then somewhere in the middle, we'll have to do the same thing. Once I get those done, then we'll be able to start it up and let you listen to the results of this new exhaust. So let me get at it and then we'll let you listen to what everything sounds like. And then you can let me know in the comment section below if it's too loud or not loud enough. Okay guys, everything is buttoned up. All the clamps are tight and uh, Junior's here. He's going to listen to this thing and uh, see what it sounds like with the new exhaust. So let's do it up. Hopefully there's enough gas left in the lines to start it up. All right, guys, what do you think of that? Do you think it's too loud? Do you think it's not loud enough? Do you think it's going to drive me crazy driving clear down south this uh, summer with that? Anyways, we'll find out before too long. So tonight, we've got the old Sharpie out, and we're going to be able to cross a couple of things off on the list. Unfortunately, I've got to add one. We did get the new OEM style shackles in the back. What it did was it lowered the top of the, sh of the spring so it's not going to hit the box. What it didn't do was it didn't bring it up enough so that we have uh, clearance between the bump stop and the axle. So I think what we're going to end up having to do is possibly even replace the uh, spring hanger back here. It looks like it's been replaced with an aftermarket one possibly and get that so that the spring is down just a hair lower than it already is. So I've already crossed that one off, the rear spring shackles, but if we come down here, we can now cross off the exhaust, but I've got to add a stud kit. On the passenger side, when I was removing the nuts, one stud broke, and it's not long enough that I can put another nut on it uh, and be done with it. So I'm gonna have to get a stud kit for that side and then uh, get that fixed up at a later date once I am able to get the truck uh, back to the shop and up on the hoist. Again, once we're back at the shop with the truck on the hoist, I can kind of manipulate that exhaust a little bit better uh, standing under it than uh, laying on my back and whatnot. We'll also have to get the box back on and the gas tank. The gas tank is probably something that I'll do tomorrow, put that back together and uh, maybe later on in the week. Uh, get a couple of guys together and put that box back in place. So having said that it is time to close out this video Well, and there you have it guys Dale has Exhaust and that was kind of the last thing that Dale was going to need to pass inspection So we'll get the box on it and the gas tank sometime this week and uh, then we can start puttering away at some of the little things on the list and start finishing up on the actual project itself. Then we've got to make a big decision, and it's about what's underneath the hood. Um, if I'm gonna make a big trip down to Georgia in August, I wanna make sure that it's gonna be as reliable of a trip as possible, and I'm not gonna to want to have to worry about breaking down. Granted, there is something to be said for kind of road killing, uh, you know, a 40 plus year old truck uh, down the interstate, but it makes for an awful long trip that's going to be long enough as it is. So I think I've got to decide if I'm going to pull the motor or rebuild a different one and put it in. Um, Dad has a couple of short blocks uh, down at his house and some high horsepower heads and this and that. And I've got to decide what I want to do and what the future is of Dale because, um, again, I want it to be a nice performer, but I also want it to drive good to heading down the interstate, like I said, I'm not so much concerned about the fuel mileage per se, um, but I don't want to be stopping at every exit either. So uh, we're going to talk about that a little bit more in a later episode. 
Keep in mind that the Car Guy and Six Fan Show is on my channel this week, and it's going to be a legacy episode, so it's just going to be Grant and I, and we're going to be getting back to the original content, and uh, then the following week we'll be back to having a guest on the show one more time. So if you haven't caught the Car Guy and Six Fan Show, we do that every Thursday evening at 7 o'clock Central, 8 Eastern, and myself and Grant Tommy, who is Straight Six Fan, I'll put his link right here, uh, host an automotive talk show and occasionally we do have some guests so I hope you head on over there uh, on Thursday evenings and check us out we have a lot of fun there's usually quite a crowd in the chat and we'll answer some of your questions as well old car auto guy merch is available in the first link in the description box below I hope you can go over there and see what I have to offer as far as t-shirts and hoodies and all that sort of thing maybe uh, you'll find something that you like we've even got a Dale t-shirt so I hope you can do that Maybe there's something there you like that you can buy and uh, help support the channel. Uh, it would be great because it helps us do a little bit more here to Project Dale. Guys, stay focused on the windshield, not the rear view mirror. I love you all. God bless. We'll see you in the next video.